it's like Drake says, I tried to show him. Here we go. Welcome everybody. We are back. John Delarose here, Delarose.com. That's D-E-L-A-R-R-O-Z.com. Sign up for the newsletter in my description below. Get a free science fiction novel by me and a free steampunk novella by me and a free graphic novel by me. If you love any fandom culture and stuff like that or sad the way things are going, turn to my work. I'm the real alternative. I will never back down. I will never acquiesce. I will never give an inch to these absolute creeps and weirdos. And we're going to go over just how creepy and weirdo they are in just a second. The news story of today is that Tony Weisskopf, the head of Bain Books, has been removed from Worldcon. I saw this coming the moment this Bain's Bar situation developed, and Bain had a very tepid response in the fact that they uh, actually agreed that there was potentially, quote, violent speech on their forum. I, I believe they called it unlawful speech. Whew, man. Uh, you never respond like that. You never give an inch to these SJWs. Uh, it's crazy to see this. Uh, you know, as much as I have been ragging on Bain Books this week, uh, because, you know, they are a New York corporate publisher at the end of the day, just like the rest, uh, you know, Tony Weisskopf really has never done anything wrong, criminal, anything on that level. Uh, it's, it's really sick to see this, especially when Worldcon harbors actual threats of political violence all the time. I posted some on my blog this morning. I was actually advocating for Tony Weisskopf to uh, get out ahead of the narrative and pull from Worldcon first. And so here's my blog, Worldcon's history of advocating political violence and why Tony Weisskopf should decline her guest of honor invitation. So I, I put several examples. Here's Nick Mamatas, uh, who's worked uh, with several of the large companies, and he's been a Worldcon attendee several times, talking about punching people and calling them Nazis, taking scalps. We have Patrick Tomlinson, who was actually talking at Worldcon a couple years ago about harassing people and photographing them and following them around and then doxing them. So this is actual threats of ruining people's livelihood that is uh, condoned by Worldcon and was allowed by Worldcon. I brought this to their attention in 2018 and they did not respond to me uh, about this. Patrick Tomlinson is endorsed by Worldcon, as you can see by his his uh, Twitter handle here uh, that he was posting this at the time. We have Mike Glyer. He's the purveyor of File 770. Now, this is one of the worst hate and extremist websites on the internet. As you can see, moderators warning, I'm not interested in hosting people's fantasies about violence. This was about me. Uh, and what happened was several people were talking about fantasizing about violence against me. These are people who attend Worldcon, guests of Worldcon. This has been done several times. This is not the first time or the only time this happened on file 770 about me or larry coria or vox day or others uh it's been uh, a place where uh they have harbored violent extremists who are attempting to create uh political violence it is actually on file 770. now he took a couple of them down on this thread but there are tons of examples on that website and yet worldcon invites these people and nominates them for hugo awards on a regular basis so File 770, anybody associated with that should obviously be removed from Worldcon if this is going to be uh, their way of being. And then finally, there is Sifwa uh, Grandmaster Samuel Delaney, who is uh, really into NAMBLA. He says that he reads the NAMBLA Bulletin very, fairly regularly, very creepy. Uh, and it's one of the most intelligent discussions on sexuality I've ever found. Now, if you don't know what NAMBLA is, it's the uh, North American Man-Boy Love Association. And it is literally about grooming little children. Uh, and, and turning them into homosexuals. That's the whole point of it. So that is, again, endorsed by Worldcon. So why would Tony Weisskopf even want to be a part of this? I never understood this, and this was kind of my criticism earlier this week. You should never want to be around these people. Why, why want to associate with them? Why do you want to appease them and get back in their good graces, try to win awards by them? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, if I want an award from them, I would, uh, I would turn it down. I mean, it's just... This is disgusting. I have no interest in associating with these people, and nor should any alternative towards these crazy SJWs. So I advocated for this. Unfortunately, uh, you know, instead of listening to my advice about tepid responses, uh, you know, Bain unfortunately went out and attacked me pretty hard. You probably saw this week. Sad, uh, but you know, our our job's not to cancel Bain. I can't, I sort of feel bad for them. Uh, our job is to cancel Worldcon because Worldcon is actually evil. I have proof of this on my website, which I already showed. 
There's many, many more instances. These people have harassed me, sent packages to my house, threatened my children. I'm dead serious. My, my little children were threatened by these people and more. It's, ab it's absolutely crazy that uh, this is allowed to exist and that Worldcon allows uh, this, their convention to be associated with such things. And not only that, but they, they approve of such things. It's really sad. Uh, oh, well, this, this is what I always warn. If you give an inch, if you show any sign of weakness to these people, they're just going to come after you even harder. I'm going to be monitoring this in the days to come because Bane Books uh, is going to get canceled further. Uh, once this happens, uh, once this pushes and spirals uh, like this, you can expect that they are going to just snowball it even into even worse stuff. And uh, we'll be here to report that for you. Now, if you want a real alternative, again, who doesn't back down, who doesn't uh, acquiesce to these people, I have a comic out called The AI Wars. This is about big tech censorship. I'm suspended from Facebook right now uh, because I got mass reported for reporting on this controversy right here. Um, and this is what happens. You, you get reported, you get suspended just for telling the truth. And then pretty soon everybody becomes a mindless drone. Uh, but few of us are strong enough to fight back, and that's the story here in AI Wars. If you like good science fiction action, please pick this up. I'll put this link in the description below. Very highly rated on Amazon. It's a great comic book, great science fiction. You'll enjoy it. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this situation, and we'll be back soon.